Hey everybody, Quilt and Marine, back again with Tough Guy Quilt. All right, so we're putting together the Tough Guy Quilt. We got our cuts, all right? So I might have, before, I might have mismentioned the size. So we're going with the six and a half inch on the grid. I might have said eight, but I don't know. It's six and a half though, six and a half inch on the grid that we're using to cut our blocks. We cut our blocks out, right? So this is what the block looks like. Okay, so we're putting these together to make build our tough guy. All right, so I've got a couple of uh, got a couple of the six and a halfs right here. So all I'm doing, all right, you guys already know, all right, but we got we have new quilters that we want to take care of, all right. So what we're doing, remember, right sides facing, right, and then we're gonna put a quarter inch seam right down here. So I'm gonna tell you my new my um. Quilting table, right? Is let me move some things out the way. We've been we've been uh, jockeying around and stuff, moving stuff around. Okay, so my quilt table, I love the height because I get the quilt, I get to use my machine standing, which is really really like nice. I didn't think that I would enjoy using my machine standing, and it's different. I like it. Also because we haven't found. A chair, a chair that's at the perfect height yet, but I'm still looking. Okay, so we're gonna put a stitch in. Let's back stitch. All right, let's put our quarter and seam in. Oh, hold on here. It's coming from a guy there. Pull it up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna iron it, we're gonna iron it open, okay? Put it over there for right now. And then we'll iron it open with my new iron that I got from the Goodwill. Let's turn it on. Uh, let's put it on steam here. All right, so with steam, you want to kind of be careful. Let's keep it dry. We'll keep it dry. We'll keep it on it dry. All right, because remember, you have interface on here, and steam's going to tear up your interface. It's going to melt the glue, and then the interface will fall away from the fabric, okay? So we're going to let that heat up. We'll put another block together, okay? All right, so we're going to put this other one together, all right? Right side's facing, right? Sorry for the mess in here. Right side's facing, and then we're going to go to the machine, all right, quarter inch, let's back stitch here, secure the stitch, all right, let's back stitch here, and take it off. Look at that, all right? That's what we're working with here. Now, we're gonna put these two together. All right, so you wanna remember, you wanna keep, I'm trying to keep my Burberry, I don't know what you call this, but I don't know, this pattern right here, these two patterns opposite, okay? You don't wanna be doing this, all right? That's a no-go, okay? Opposite, and we're gonna right side face them, okay? Let's see if my iron is ready. Oh yeah. Man, this iron is awesome. This this is like an old school iron. I'm giving my Oliso a break, okay? I love my Oliso, but I use it a lot and I, I want to give him a, a little vacation. So I went and picked this little iron up from the um, Goodwill and it's like an old school iron. I remember um, my wife told me she remembers this from when she was younger. So I was like, okay, let's grab it. I'm gonna use this right here. Look at that. Okay, that's what we're talking now. All right, that's an iron who's, who is not done yet, okay? I don't know why it was at the Goodwill, but thank you. All right, let's go ahead and put this crease down here. Iron that out. Okay. All right, look who's down there at my feet. He doesn't go, he doesn't let either of us go anywhere, okay? He's always in the room, okay? 
I love that dog. All right, so look, we're gonna right sides facing. So remember now, now we're going into nesting. New quilters, that's what this is called. I just learned it myself, okay? So here we go. We're nesting. We wanna make this seams, these two seams match up. Okay, so we're gonna put a pin in there. Because if you're just starting out, this is, I mean, I mean, we should be doing it anyway, but you know, I'm not an expert at this. I just love to do it. <laughs> Remember that line? Remember that? Yeah. All right. So we got our, we got our little thing. I got our nest going on. We're just going to put our corner and seam right here. Okay. Right along here. All right. All right. Look who's over here. All right. I did have the, you know, a pattern laid out, but then... I got invaded by the dogs. Okay. All right. So before anybody gets offended, okay, my dogs are part of my life, like my guns. So sometimes they're on on quilt patterns. And Daria, for some reason, she'll come in and lay. She loves laying on my fabrics. I don't know what it is with her, but that's her thing. I don't mess with her. That's my girlfriend. Okay. All right. So we're gonna put our stitch in here. Okay, got the back stitch. Okay, let's go. Going right through that intersection. This machine is amazing. Okay, so soon I'm going to be giving a six month review on my brother PQ one five zero zero SL that I love. All right. Let's cut it. All right, let's pull our pin out here. And put our pin back in here. And we are going to Gunner. Could you lay anywhere else? All right, look at that. We're going to open it up. Okay. Let's iron this little baby open a little bit. Just to open it up, okay. with our iron that's extremely hot. I love that. And that's our block, okay? That's how we do it. And then we add it to the other blocks and then we're gonna be putting our strips together. We'll put our strips together and then we will be shortly done with the top of this thing, okay? We're gonna find, we're gonna find a, a bind. I don't know what bind I've chosen, but remember it's tough guy, so no pink, okay? It's not gonna happen. We're gonna find a solid color. We're gonna do a solid color bind this time. And then we, we will be surely done. And you know what's next. Do I gotta say it? I gotta say it. <laughs> it's gonna be the New York Beauty that we're gonna start on, okay? I'm gonna start collecting my parts and my paper pieces and we're gonna go forward with it, all right? But for right now, let's enjoy the tough guy. Oh, we need to mention, once we get done with the top of the tough guy, FPOAPs for service members, okay? This is going to go to a service member serving overseas, all right? That's the requirement. That's my requirement, all right? Service member serving overseas. So I want to see FPOAPs. I'll be back with another video for the dates in which we'll accept the FPOAPs, all right? The FPOAPs are the foreign, foreign post office for service members, all right? Me, I'm leaning towards those serving in Afghanistan, but we'll take them all, okay? They have to be serving overseas. Uh, we'll, we'll, my, my wife's going to put it in a, a random selector. We're going to select one winner, and they're just going to mail it off to that service member, okay? So stay tuned. Get your FPOAPs ready, and we'll redo a video just to receive those, okay? Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe, and remember, it's only fabric, and it's only thread.